The members will rise and be led in prayer by Reverend Dr. Robert M. Grant, Jr., Senior Pastor, the Father's Way Church, Warrington, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, which will be led from the delegate by the delegate from Alexandria, Delegate Herring. Thank you. Good morning, Virginia House of Delegates. Let us pray. But before I start this prayer, I want to give you three words that the Lord gave me to give to you. And those words were consider, confer, and then speak up. For the times that we are living in now is the time to consider all the bills that are being passed, to confer with one another, and it is a time to speak up. We pray today that the Virginia House of Delegates will exercise their authority, making right decisions for citizens of this commonwealth. I pray that every bill or law be, be fully considered by both Republican and Democratic delegates, having the best interests of the citizens of Virginia. I pray that both sides will put down their own selfish ambitions and need for importance and do their job and stand for what is right in the sight of God. We, we ask the Holy Spirit to give this house the courage to speak up and do what is necessary for right living and to promote a peaceable, prosperous, and safe state. Virginia is a commonwealth. In its first constitution, the new government was based upon the sovereignty of the people united for the common good for a sound, healthy, and prosperous state. My prayer today is that you unite for the common good of the people and not usurp the Constitution's authority. We pray that all legislation will be done with a spirit of excellence and accountability. We the people are in desperate need of leaders who can discern the needs of their fellow citizens and engage in, in what daily problems we face that you legislate to fix problems and not create laws that create havoc. These are crucial times that we are living in. The average citizen of our great state want our elected officials to look beyond their personal ambitions and create bills and laws that are sensible, equitable, and sustainable. Real common sense laws. I pray that we do not provoke God's anger by making laws that can destroy the fabric of this great state and our wonderful country. God is love, God is merciful, God is holy, and God is also judgment. Please do not provoke his anger and bring wrath upon this state by what you create as law. Biblical history is very clear. His wrath upon the earth is documented. We, do not ex we are not exempt. We are not exempt. If he does not grant us mercy for the atrocities that are being done, we will eventually encounter the judgment of the Almighty God, and may the Lord have mercy upon us all. I pray that you may understand that all life is precious and worthy of a chance to be born. God is the giver of life, and people have no right or authority to take life. The unborn has rights, and those rights need to be protected. They should never be denied the right to exist, the right to develop, or the right to have a family. The word of God has given us a warning. Woe to anyone who harms an innocent child. Every one of you sitting here today can guarantee these rights to these little innocent children of Virginia. They are in their trimasters as we speak. Please do not ignore their little voices. I pray for a heart change today. And may the Lord God have mercy upon this leadership. Amen. There is another group of Virginians that have a need for justice and equal scales in our court system. It is an embarrassment and causing public outrage that a Caucasian male and an African American male can both do the exact same crime, but the African American male continually gets sentenced with more time behind bars. And why are there so many abortion clinics near African American communities? This is planned urban genocide, and you can change this. This needs immediate attention. People of this commonwealth want sense, common sense, and fair prison reform. 
especially for nonviolent crimes. Even if you don't care about prisoners, they still depend upon you. Prison reform has an immediate effect on welfare reform. When you allow these dads an early out for traffic violations or back child support, they can have another chance to support their children. Whether they are black or white, they need another chance to prove themselves. We need nonviolent crime provision reform now. I pray that this chamber will uphold the Virginia family, that the bills and laws being passed will always protect the biblical traditional marriage as God instructed the first man and the first woman in the Bible, that the two shall be one flesh, that a man and a woman shall be fruitful and multiply. We should never rewrite God's, uh, we should never rewrite what God has declared. If a state wants to use God's law, then it needs to be respected. If, you're, if it's not yours to change or alter its wording, the Bible is the copyright of God's word. Marriage is, just joined a bi marriage is to join a biological male and a biological female in holy matrimony, not to provoke the almighty God. Without laws to protect traditional marriage, Virginia will reduce, be reduced to increase fatherless children and welfare victims and homelessness tax burden to us all. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.